Hi there. Welcome to Alima to Saadia Vlogs. My name is Halid and I'll be introducing you to this channel. This channel is dedicated to talking about the life experiences of Kadamas in Kuwait and other Gulf countries. If you are interested in knowing about the life experiences of people who travel, especially those who travel to Gulf countries to work as Kadamas, then you are at the right channel. Make sure to join this family by simply subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon. Hi lovely people, you are welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time coming across this channel, you are highly welcome and please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider supporting this channel by subscribing and please watch and give me thumbs up. So in today's video, I am here to react to two comments. So this video will be short. Yes. I'm here to react to two comments concerning my last video that I posted. I've got some questions there and like I need to make a video and explain more to some people because some people like when we say this Gulf countries and many people don't understand and some people also believe what they have been hearing outside, you know, more than we do even in Gulf country here. And I am not saying sometimes what you have been hearing this they are doing to their housemate or the Kadamas in Gulf countries. Some are true and some are not also true. Yes, so let me read this comment and I will put it on the screen for all of us to read it together. So this person said, young ladies, listen up. Do not be deceived. Do not go to these Middle Eastern countries, including Kuwait. Oh my God, no. Because those that have gone there were deceived by these same agents and are being held in as soon as they arrive. First, they will take away your passport so that you cannot run away. Why they work? Why they work? You do. Why they work you to death as a house help? And I mean making you to work 24 hours every day, non-stop. Do not go because you are going to regret it later. Okay, my dear, what you said, like, I am not, not I am not going to argue with you more or to say maybe what you said, it is not true. Some are true, some are also not true. Let me say something. In Gulf country here, when you arrive here, the first thing your employees is going to do is they are going to collect your passport. Yes, that one day. I don't even think that it is only widows working in the house. I have some friends out there. I asked them before that. So, those of you also working in the company, does the company collect your passport? They say yes. That's what they told us. Or that's what they told me because I personally asked some people because my first time here, they collected my passport. But you know something, sometimes, my dear, it is from we, those also working with them. Because peer influence, maybe our friends outside will be eh, putting pressure on us. Oh, working outside, they don't pay you much, this and that, you know. So come outside to work because I have, I have experienced that thing before. I have a friend outside. The person was like, ha, huh, Alima, come out and work. They pay more. Like, it is true. Those working outside, they, they like they collect money more than we those working in the house. But not every day that they get the work to, to do. Okay. But we those that are under the contract, every day you are working, every month will be paying you. But you that has run away. If you didn't even get lucky, you are going to regret later. I hope you understand me. Hey, someone is ringing the bell. <laughs> yes, I am back. These are some of the work. Oh, <laughs> it is not easy. So, yeah, as I, and it was our employees who renew it for me, and it is my property. So, I supposed to go and renew it, but because they are good people, they are the ones who renew it for me. And here is my ikama, that is my document. So, now I can run right, but I don't see it as anything important to me because, like, in this house that I am, the amount that they are giving to me. Like, I like it. I appreciate it because at least every month they will be given to me. Although not the way I wanted, but alhamdulillah. And like, every month will be given to you. But if you run away from the house eh, and you go to outside, sometimes you go and work at the end, they will not pay you. And you cannot do anything because you don't have documents. You cannot even report to the police. So if you are coming to the house, one thing I will tell you is that coming to Gulf country here, especially in Kuwait here, if you are coming here, when you reach here, you have agent from Kuwait here. Forget about the one in Ghana. Because if you call themselves, they cannot do anything for you or they cannot help you about anything if you reach here. That is all. Because I have some friends, they went to Saudi Arabia when they read the things wasn't going on well. When they were calling the agent from back in Africa, they were not mind them. So if you reach here, the first thing is to collect your agent's number. So the house that you are going to work for, if you went there and things are not going well for you, you will just call your agent before three months. Don't wait for three months to come. 
because if you stay there for almost three months you cannot change your house so maybe the first month second month if you see that things are not going on well for you first month they did not pay you the treatment they are not giving you food you just call your agent then they'll come and pick you from the house and then change another house for you and secondly please like be sure that the country that you are in maybe saudi arabia they have Ghana embassy over there or kenya embassy make sure that you get contact from there at least you may have friends over there who have the uh, uh, embassy contact so you may you can get some okay and the last one please be fast and learn the arabic that is all so my dear what you said i am not saying it is not true because some of the agents they have this deceived a lot of people some time ago i heard that even some agent like the people that there is work in egypt then they went there they did not get the work and then they were stranded over there so sometimes what the agents are doing some of them in fact it is not good at all because please agents out there be fair to um people that you are helping to come and work in Gulf country here tell them the truth some agent will be like if you come you collect like 500 dollars a month newcomer whilst it is not true hey my people like always tell the truth the other day someone chatted me and he was like halima uh, uh, i got one agent and he's saying he uh he want to give me job over in job offer in kuwait here every month they are going to pay me like a 150 kd as a cleaner it is a lie it is either 95 kd 100 kd 110 to 120 maximum is 130 kd it's never 150 so don't let anyone lie to you so those of us who are in golf country or those of us who are who are already here ask us when we tell you to take it don't be saying maybe we align to you people or something like that it is never true eh? and if i come to work in the house too the minimum the minimum wage is start from 60 to 80 kd you know if you get lucky 90 if you know how to do or maybe you have been to other golf country before maybe 100 kd or 110 kd you know so please don't be deceived so my sister or my dear friend what you said it is true but not all the people that are bad seriously this man people oh my god me and my co-worker we have our document with us we can go to any place that we want so if you can't be a humble yourself what they ask you to do just do it exactly just do it exactly what they ask you to do okay so that is it mm -hmm. so this particular comment i really wanted to react to it badly and explain to you guys that sometimes what they are saying it is true and it is lock by lock you know we like the country that you are coming from so they have bad people and good people right so if you come here and you like you didn't get the lucky you got you get bad people you are going to talk a lot and like in fact i cannot talk for other houses you no know, because i don't know what they are going through but for my experience and some few friends that I know that are working in Kuwait. So my dear, in Kuwait here, dear, no. Kuwait is the best, no, Kuwait is the best, one of the best Gulf countries to live in and work. Yes, this country, eh, I like it. <laughs> so you people don't know, eh. Uh, the other day, course reps will be like, Halim, are you back to Kuwait? I was like, yes. He said, hey, you love Kuwait too. Seriously, I love this country. Seriously. The day that I will leave this country forever, I don't know how I will feel because I like it. And this is my sister, Gloria Onyi. She asked, I love your video. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. And she continued, is there anywhere I could send things from Kuwait to my family in Nigeria? Okay, Gloria Onyi. <laughs> I don't know if I pronounce the last name well. Yes, there is many ways one you can send it by air but that one it is expensive maybe i don't know where you are working whether you are you are working in a company or you are working in a house you if you're working in a house talk to your people that you are working with maybe you want to send stuff to your country they can search and maybe like you can send by cargo okay so they can set or if you have friends around just ask them me i am from ghana and we have uh, one man here his name is mr francis like any stuff that you want to send it back home he is available for you so for nigeria i don't know i don't know yes but here you can send it by cargo or by air but by the air is too much expensive here so you will take it to the airport one kilo is like 10 kd so that is expensive by the airport but if you want to send it by cargo that one it is not that much expensive so but our own or some countries are there they they count it by kilo, but maybe one kilo will be one kd or half kd for some countries. But in Ghana, 
after you are done packaging your tents you just call him he'll come and then he charge you oh this box is big so you have to pay like 30 kd or 40 kd or 20 kd so that is how we do it miss uh, sis gloria so i hope i have answered you so i don't know where you are if you are in a company please you can ask your friends that run over there if you're working in the house too kindly ask your madam that you want to send stuff back home to your family so how will you do it if any ways you can do it they may know okay because these people there uh, they are always on the internet so they will do the research and show you the way okay if you have watched this point i really appreciate it and oh my god i do appreciate you all for always supporting this page yes we are growing <laughs> we are growing thank you all for supporting so see you guys in my next video and please the thumbs up don't forget to leave me see you guys in my next video Masala.